guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to look at taking some simple data, creating a line chart, and then making it so that we can dynamically highlight certain data points. In this instance, I want to highlight the site I've selected. So I've got a drop down here. And as I change the site, you'll see that the highlight changes to the site that is selected. And you do this, see site three, and it moves again. And the same thing if we move to site four. So how can we do this quickly and easily? Let's come back to our basic data, which is here. Now what I'm going to do, I'm first going to just widen out this column a little bit. And I'm going to create some new cells. I'm going to call it selected site. Essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a drop down that will then select the appropriate site data. But let's first of all, just pop in my line chart. So we're going to come to insert. We're going to click on the recommended charts. And you'll see the first one is actually recommending a line chart. So we're going to click OK. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create a little drop down to basically make sure that this is picking the appropriate site data. So in my other tab, I've got that box as that little yellow color. So we're just going to come to our styles here, click the little drop down, and we're going to make it that note style. And then we'll come to our data tab, data validation. We want it to be a list, and we want it to basically select one of these headings. So click enter, and we now have it that it's selecting the different sites. And then we're going to use XLOOKUP to make that actually dynamic, dynamically select the correct site data. So we're going to say equals XLOOKUP. We're going to pick this and we're going to use the shortcut F4 to lock it to that cell. We're then going to look up all our headings. Again, F4 to lock it. And then dynamically, we want to select the each year of data individually. So we're going to hit enter and we're going to copy this down. And we're just going to paste the formatting using on our home tab, our format painter. There we go. You'll notice there's these little errors have popped up. It's just because there's a formula in here that isn't covering all the other cells too. I want to ignore that. And you can see we've now got selected site in our chart. Just to make it look a little bit more like the earlier tab, I'm going to insert here a new column. I'm going to just make it a bit narrower, so we'll narrow it down to five. And we're going to take out the borders. So we'll just take out those central ones. And let's move our chart. Actually, before we do, just to show you that it is actually updating, we select site two. And you can see the data updates to site two. You'll also notice that that light blue line moves to cover the site that's selected. We'll be fixing that in a minute. So just putting it back to site one. I'm going to use the Alt command to snap this chart to the grid. We'll make it a little bit bigger. Just to tidy things up, I'm going to put my chart title in. So selecting the chart title, coming into your formula bar, and then selecting the cell that you want your chart to be. There we go. And I'm just going to make this axis a little bit smaller, just so you can see a little bit more of the data. So let's start it at 10%. There we go. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the bar that is representing this selected site. I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to Format Data Series. And what we want to do is come to this little paint bucket. Now you'll notice there's a line and a marker tab. Now we don't actually want a line for this, so we're going to select No Line. And then we're going to come to Marker. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand this Marker Options and I'm going to click this Built In button. And you'll see there's lots of little shapes that are built in here. We want a circle. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. So let's put it to 50. And you'll see you've got a solid circle with a color on it. So I don't want any fill in it because I want it to be a dotted line. And then for the actual outside of the circle, we we'll scroll down a little bit. Let's make it a little bit wider. Three point might be a bit excessive, but let's see how it looks. We'll pick a color. Uh, let's go with the red. And we're going to make it so that it's a dotted line. Now that might be a little bit fast, so let's just bring it down to two point. But you can see we've got our different points circled. So this is now circling the appropriate site in a red circle. And what we'll see, it's there highlighting site one. When we update it, it now updates to site two, then site three, and then site four. So you can see that's actually a very quick and easy method of creating a much more dynamic chart. 
And there's loads of things you can do with this. You can create dynamic bar charts, you can create dynamic line charts as I've just shown. But it'll be really interesting to hear what you would like to see in a future video. Is there any particular type of chart that you'd like to make? You're looking for tips as to how to do it. Do leave a comment below. The last thing, just to make this look a little bit more like the other sheets, just to clean it up a little bit, what I've done is I've come to my view tab and I've just turned my grid lines off just to make it a slightly cleaner look. Love that you found this quick video useful. Remember to like and subscribe. And we look forward to seeing you in a future video.